we are at the supercharger in Elverum. It is a lovely day. I'm now headed for uh, Trondheim in that direction and actually I feel that like we have actually some headwind. So that's what we're going to talk about wind resistance actually <laughs> and energy consumption because you know I pull the trailer a lot and uh, that's fine I can do it um, the problem is the consumption is somewhat high and with high consumption it means I have to charge kind of long and some legs I have to charge it to 90% which takes a long time so you know what for me if I'm able to reduce the consumption uh, somehow without too many document like modifications that would be huge if I can reduce it by let's say 5% it doesn't sound that much but it means that when I push it to 90% versus push it to 85 or 80% it would be much faster for me I can save 15 minutes 10 minutes on each charging stop and over a long trip it will add up to become maybe hours so I have some ideas and I want to ask you guys about the opinion so you see here uh, the car is designed to be pretty slick without a trailer and the trailer is like the problem here so this spoiler actually the my car is a performance version which has the adaptive spoiler and the spoiler will adjust according to speed uh, uh, but I guess it's not like optimized for a trailer and in the winter I've seen the schmutz um, it's like a strip around here where I have schmutz and that means, and under here is kind of clean, so that means that um, the car is creating some drag and you know the, the slipstream goes around here and you see that this is slightly lower than the, the roof itself let me give you a better position here so you can see um, like actually the car's roof is about the same height as the trailer but I guess you know the way the car is shaped it will force the, the, the air to go downwards and uh, ideally yeah, if you don't have a trailer you get that nice like flow and you get less drag but the trailer kind of ruins it so I have two ideas how I can do this uh, I don't care if this <laughs> I don't care too much if it looks silly now one idea is to have a spoiler because you've seen it on many trucks actually <laughs> You can even see it over there, maybe. Um, but I know other trucks, they have some kind of spoiler. You see, to, to smooth out the edges and create less turbulence. And my idea is to create some kind of, um, I don't know, a spoiler to be like this something, right? And it has to be attached with suction cups. Uh, I need some strong suction cups, uh, probably four of them in case one or two might fail. Uh, so I have a spoiler here that I use only when I pull a trailer and as I mentioned I mostly drive at night and on whatever I'm not going to go on a car show so I don't care if it looks silly I just want to bring the consumption down so if I have a spoiler it will deflect the airflow uh, so that instead of hitting around there it might go over it uh, something like that that might help hopefully I don't know I'm not an expert on this another idea is to put some kind of cone or a triangle or something on this end here I don't know if it could I mean it could be like uh, uh, what do you call it um, the gla uh, plastic or fiber or something uh, uh, maybe even aluminium because this is already aluminium so it kind of makes sense to make it the same look but if I can make it like a triangle shape or something um, that will I don't know if that will help or not it will look kind of silly but I don't care too much I even wonder if these ones, if I could take them off, if they actually create some extra drag. Yeah, there are some holes here. Uh, yeah, I haven't done a, like a proper test to take them off. Because you know, it, it kind of, you got, I mean, some of you guys think it's silly now that uh, I'm trying to save 5 or 10 watt uh, per kilometer. But uh, as I mentioned before, it actually helps because I don't have to push it too high. Now, people say that the most important part is the back. Yes, I would like to do something with the back, but the problem is we also have to consider functionality versus, you know, that. And the back is very important because this is where I load and unload cargo. So I cannot have stuff here in the back, like a silly drop, teardrop form or something. So I can only do something, attach something to the car 
or to the trailer or a combination even but um, yeah <laughs> so this is why I asked some of you guys some of your expert if you have any opinion about this <laughs> how it will improve because I don't have a wind tunnel or anything uh, and maybe some some guys can more like use this in a program and try to simulate uh, uh, the wind tunnel or something but uh, yeah so we'll see just try to I mean yeah give me some comments about what I should do because I, I want to try to um, improve um, the efficiency and also I think it's interesting to test it out see if it actually helps yeah so um, anyway uh, we are charged now to 90 ish percent so we are good to go but uh, that's it for now then